بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله In the previous set of verses Allah Azza wa Jal spoke about the wicked people and then as the nature of Quran Allah Azza wa Jal speaks about things and their opposites in this set of verses, Allah Azza wa Jal is uh, talking about the righteous. Kalla inna kitab al abrari No, indeed, the record of the righteous is in Iliyin. Again, kalla, negation, it's negating what they said uh, that their denial of, of the resurrection, as Allah Azza wa Jal said in the last verse, in, in the set of verses about the wicked. هذا الذي كنتم به تكذبون the statement of the keepers of hell to them الأبرار the righteous Allah عز وجل is talking about the opposite of the wicked the righteous are those who are always acting according to the pleasure of Allah عز وجل to the best of their ability الحسن رضي الله عنه ورحمه الله said uh, such people, the abrar, don't harm even ants. As small as ants, they will not. They will refrain from harming them. Iliyin. Again, it's the opposite of sijin. Right? Uh, Kaab said it is the seventh heaven where the souls of the believers are. Uh, and in the narration of Al-Bara' we mentioned part of in the, uh, when we were addressing the wicked uh, and Sijin, the, the section which spoke about the, the uh, pious and righteous and the departure of the soul, the Prophet wasallam said, the angels, meaning the angels of mercy in this case, will take that soul and ascend with it. And whenever they pass by a group of angels, they would say, these angels would say, who is this good, pure soul? So they would say, so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, and we'll call him with the best name. And then they will ask permission to ascend to the higher level, and they will be granted. Opposite to those wicked who were denied permission and were thrown from the first heaven. So they will continue ascending and from each heaven, the best of angels in that layer or in that level will accompany that soul to the following level. Look at the honor a pious, righteous believer has with Allah Azza wa Jalla. He'll be escorted by the best angels within each layer or each heaven until they reach the seventh and they seek permission to ascend higher. But Allah Azza wa Jal would say, no. Write the record of my slave in Iliyin, the highest level, and take his soul back to earth because I have created it, created them from it, from soil, from clay, and to it I will return them, and from it I will resurrect them one more time. We ask Allah Azza wa to make us amongst them. Allahumma ameen. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا عِلِّيُّونَ And what can make you know what عِلِّيُّونَ is? Again, it's beyond perception to know the joy and pleasure and bliss Allah Azza wa has prepared for the pious and righteous people. Kitabun marqumun yashhaduhul muqarrabun. It is a register inscribed which is witnessed by those brought near to Allah. We mentioned what marqum is, that it is inscribed and it enumerates all deeds and all that and that 
it will be kept in Iliyin. But the difference between the wicked and the righteous is that the righteous will be accompanied, will be escorted, will be witnessed by the angels, the best of angels. Again, it's a, a form or way of honoring that soul and that believer. Inna al abarara lafi nai. Allahumma jalna min al abarar. Indeed, the righteous will be in pleasure. Right? And then Allah Azza wa Jal starts mentioning some of the pleasures they will enjoy. Those whose books are going to be in Iliyin. On adorned couches observing. Araik, the couches here, uh, during the time of Arabs, was something very luxurious, right? It, it reflected luxury and, uh, and wealth and prestige, right? So, because, <clears throat> excuse me, their style, their lifestyle was rough living in the desert. So when you talk to them about fancy adorned couches, that's beyond perception. That's way too high for them. Imam Al-Tabari said, these couches mentioned here are like beds that have a dome on it covered with uh, curtains that are decorated with pearls and rubies. Can you imagine that? Saying this to someone who's living in the desert, in an open desert, that's stunning. That's so nice, so fancy, so fascinating, that would reflect something different than what they perceive in this life. And whilst they are on these couches, they are observing other bliss, other pleasures Allah Azza wa Jal has prepared for them in Jannah. Ibn Kathir said, they will be observing, meaning they will be actually seeing Allah and looking at Allah Azza wa Jal. And he said, this is to say that just like the wicked are blocked and partitioned and deprived from seeing Allah Azza wa Jal, the righteous and the pious will be enjoying their pleasure and bliss from Allah in addition to the ability of seeing Allah Azza wa Jal. Allahumma matta'na biladhati al-nadhari ila wajhika al-kareem. Ta'rifu fi wujuhihim nadratan na'im. You will recognize in their faces the radiance of pleasure. Subhanallah. And this is a natural result from the bliss they're enjoying. It will reflect on their faces. See, when you see someone who's happy from inside, you see his, his face bright and radiant, right? You say, mashallah, this person is very happy. Contrary to this, when you see someone who's from inside sad, you look gloomy and you notice that on his face. It, it reflects on the face. What's in the heart, whether sadness or joy reflects on the person's uh, face. Al-Imam Al-Tabari said, their faces will be so bright, it would look like a pearl shining. Subhanallah. يُسْقَوْنَ مِنْ رَحِيقٍ مَخْتُومٍ خِتَامُهُ مِسْكٍ وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ They will be given a drink, pure wine. Now, differentiate between this wine and that wine. That wine is very delicious and tasty, but it's not intoxicating. Right? Which was sealed. مَخْتُوم, sealed. خِتَامُهُ مِسْكٍ the last of its remaining scent is musk. So for this, let the competitors compete. 
Let the competitors compete in obtaining that rank. Subhanallah, it goes very coherent with the beginning of the, uh, of the surah. Those who do tatfif, the mutaffifin, those who give less than what's due, are competing to possess and obtain a fracture of this dunya. The filth of this dunya. That is an interim stage, a short period. It is considered to be zero compared to infinity and eternity in Jannah, right? So they were competing for that. And as a result of their competition for that, they wronged people. They took the rights. They denied Allah. They denied resurrection. They rejected the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah is telling them, this is not worth competing for. This bliss is worth your competition. The wine of Jannah. Pure. Pure drink. That is prepared for those in Jannah and it is sealed with musk. Subhanallah. Uh, the scholar said, it is prepared in containers that are sealed and it will be only opened when it is time for those who are to enjoy it in Jannah for them to drink it. When it is time for those people who should enjoy it in Jannah to drink it, that is the time when that seal is going to be broken. It will be given to them, reflecting how much care Allah Azza wa Jal has for the believers and the righteous. And musk, the seal being with musk, reflects luxury, right? You don't seal something with musk, right? But in Jannah, you expect the unexpected. We ask Allah the highest level of Jannah. <clears throat> now before Allah Azza wa goes on, continues to give more description of this drink, a pause is made and, is, and it is said, وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ And in this or for this, let the competitors compete to bring to your attention that this is worth it. This is worth sacrificing my life, working all my life for. And then Allah Azza wa Jal goes on to give more details of this amazing drink. وَمِزَاجُهُ مِن تَسْنِيمٍ عَيْنًا يَشْرَبُ بِهَا الْمُقَرَّبُونَ And its mixture is tasneem, a spring from which those near to Allah, Al-Muqarrabun, drink. So this wine that is sealed will be opened for them and it will be mixed from a spring called Tasneem. Those who are Muqarrabun will be drinking from that. Ibn, Ibn Abbas said it will be pure for the Muqarrabin and it will be mixed with Wine, the spring with wine for the people of the right. Because Allah Azza wa Jal uh, in Surah Al Waqi'ah mentions three classes of people Al Muqarrabun, Ashab al Yameen, and Ashab al Shimal. So these first two are people of Jannah. The first ones are the highest ones. Because Allah Azza wa Jal says, Thullatum min al Awalina wa Qalilum min al Akhirin. A large number from the beginners, meaning the, the, the first generations, and few from the end. Ashab al yameen thullatu min al awalina wa thullatu min al akhirin. A large number from the first generations or the beginning of the mission, and a large from those after that. So the muqarrabun are less, so they're higher in rank. So they will get that pure with no mixture with it. See, even in Jannah, levels differ according to our piety and righteousness. 
See, people are not equal in the, in the scale of Allah Azza wa Jal. What differentiates people? Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqakum. The most honorable amongst you with, the Allah, with Allah or in the scale of Allah are the most pious. So the, the more pious you are, the higher you get. And the Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ جِنَانَ Jannah is levels. And the highest is Al-Firdaus Al-A'la. And he said, so when you ask Allah, when you supplicate Allah, ask Him for the highest level of Jannah, ask Him for Firdaus Al-A'la. So, these two different types or classes of believers in Jannah will have different enjoyment based on their uh, level. With this, Allah Azza wa Jal concludes uh, the description of the enjoyment of the pious and righteous. Uh, and we will have only one remaining set of verses to conclude this which we will keep for the following session insha'Allah and conclude now. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu alayka.